Welcome back to the Welcome Home Lake Norman podcast. It's me, Ryan, Ben, and Tiffany. We're going to talk today a little update as far as what's going on in the Iredell County, um, especially the real estate market right now for the coronavirus pandemic that is going on. So you guys have uh, put a lot of new things in place as far as how we can continue serving our clients. Um, Because, Ben, you said it right before we started, you have a duty. You have a duty to serve your clients um, and execute on what you've told them you will. So kind of getting started, let's just do a a short update as far as, you know, we have a lot of real estate people that listen to this. What is going on? You know, what what, what are you guys seeing in the real estate market because of this coronavirus? Well, you know, this, this COVID-19, now we got to call it COVID-19 because my corona beer people are getting upset about this. I don't blame them. <laughs> I bet their I'm still, sales... I'm still enjoying corona I, beer. You know? I bet their sales went way up from it. But, I mean, this is serious stuff, and our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody who's uh, who's been suffering with mm-hmm. it and been exposed with it and doesn't know. Um, we're staying in business. We're taking a lot of precautions. I, I just learned how to really wash my hands and there's not much skin left on them. And but, he's been telling everyone, too. So oh, we know he really knows. Oh, yeah. I mean, I I did not realize the reason you have to wash your hands for 20 seconds is because the soap, the chemicals in the soap, take that long to break down the fat in the cell of the virus. That's from it's, your wife. So they deconstruct. Well, she's pretty smart. I was going to say, she's the, one that, she's the one but, that came up with that. I, I also this. saw this on a video, and I'm sure a lot of people out there have seen it, but it, it breaks down the fat on the cell of the virus and deconstructs, and then it's it's no longer a valid, you know, virus cell. So it actually takes 20 seconds for those chemicals. And all soap has the same chemicals. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what soap you're using. Hmm. And uh, you just got to keep it and rubbing your hands and keep that soap on there and rubbing it in for 20 seconds. So we've That's Ben Thomas, lead epidemiologist from the CDC, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we're all going to be experts after all this. So, so we, are, we are practicing that a lot at the office, obviously. And uh, we are doing... Drive-by closings. Which is why I'm wearing my raincoat for all of you that might be watching this. Because we just got done with the <laughs> rainy curbside closing. But great folks. that Everybody's been really understanding and actually thankful that we're doing this. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys shut the office down. And, and right. why did you do that? Well, we, we our people need to be at work. We're an essential business under the rules. Because we have to get these loans closed. People lose their rates or uh, got to get these people in their houses. Yeah. Uh, this is tough times. So we're essential, but we've got to protect. We have a duty to protect our office. So we have to keep everybody else out of there. Right. And then uh, Tiffany and I are doing the closings, and we are taking every precaution you can imagine with to protect the clients and ourselves while we're doing that. Disinfectant, so. gloves. Yeah. And so uh, we are doing curbside, but we also have other options too. So what are, what are some of those other options people can do if they don't want to drive over here or can't drive over here? Well, one thing that we've offered, and it requires some approval from a lender, um, is to have a a disinterested third party act as a power of attorney. So we've identified some people that are willing to serve because of the crisis. They don't work for us, but they have experience in lending or banking. So they know what the documents are. Um, They'll be able to sign for buyers who we will be on the phone with essentially or on video with video conference. Zoom stock. If you haven't bought Zoom stock, you probably should have uh, three days ago. Yeah, because yeah, a lot so, of people are using that, yeah. and that's good. So we can see the clients, they can see us, and uh, we can go over the documents with them, and then we would have that power of attorney, if they're approved by their lender, to sign on behalf of the client so they don't even have to come in. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, the other is still mail aways, mm-hmm. where we mail the documents to the clients. That has to be done in advance. Mm-hmm. And then, and that's that, an established procedure that you know yeah, our folks could do in their sleep. So yeah, yeah, we've been doing that a long time. Right. The only problem with that is that they still have to sign before a notary, and so now they've got to find a notary. Um, and and uh, you guys talk about you, that a little. You bit? have some people, right? Because the that, banks that are, are not willing. really the banks are not letting people in to notarize. Right, things, so. and so you guys have some people that you were willing that are willing to drive to these people and and kind of have it as a service to. I will come and sit with you and notarize and, and do that for you, correct? We have identified that as a – it's somewhat of a last resort because what you lose in that is the attorney making sure you don't sign anything you shouldn't sign. But that. But if you're doing it via video at the same time, that's a, yeah, there, a we're, benefit. We will – pretty much you can rest assured we will find a way to make sure that you can close. 
right. is what we want people to understand. But I want to talk about the notary just for a second is that a lot of people don't understand the, the requirement of a notary. So anything that you sign that has a notary acknowledgement on it means that the person has to be physically there watching you sign. It can't just be you sign your name and then take it to a notary and they sign it later. Um, it can't be done. The, vid the notary can't be watching you by video. That person has to be physically where you are. So I think a lot of people misunderstand that and they say, okay, great. Um, we'll just do the video thing. And they don't realize they need to have the power of attorney in place because then we can watch that person sign. So don't get confused by that. There's always a way to work it out, but still notaries have to be in person. There's been no suspension of that requirement. Right. So right. There, there are a couple of different good options out there to, to keep everybody safe and still get these documents executed. Yeah. And I mean, you guys are doing your best. You're trying, you're, we're coming up with new, I mean, we're talking at mm -hmm. nine o'clock last night, trying to come up with new ways of what ifs and just in case, and, yeah, and, and we're, and, we're going to do our best up with all the recommendations. You right. Know, we're trying mm -hmm. to keep up with those and follow them. We are evolving the as the rules evolve, as the guidelines evolve. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as, um, you know, kind of the real estate market, are you guys seeing a drop off currently of, well, you know, we're seeing a bunch of closings cancel because they can't do this or that or things are happening or is it just kind of business as normal? I haven't really seen anything closing. I mean, uh, not, uh, not canceling, closing. excuse right. me, canceling. Yeah. And surprisingly, we're getting in a fair amount of files. It's, um, you know, lenders, the rates are obviously affecting it. So I would say it's going to be a little bit slower during this time, but not to the extent that we uh, think people aren't buying and selling. That's right. not the case. And I see a lot of realtors out there getting uh, pretty creative. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're evolving as well with the Virtual 3D videos. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. And all that stuff so people can still look around for property. Right. And um, and now's a great time to country. buy. Get good <laughs> rates. <laughs> Got real good rates. Well, they're up and down. Yeah, yeah well, you never, it's depends on which tell. day you get them. Yeah, it and, or the time of day. Yeah. The time of day. Yeah, it changes so much. Uh, so I've heard some nervousness about the market in the future, but right now we're still seeing things uh, closing. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing mm -hmm. lenders canceling anything. Um, and we I don't know how many we did today, but we did a ton of them with people <laughs> driving up. And I think they appreciate the fact they stay in their cars. Mm -hmm. There's, well, let, we don't have seat warmers in our conference room chairs, so yeah. your car yeah. probably. And, and let's give a shout out. You know, you guys got, um, you know, Jim that we go to, CrossFit 77. We, we oh, reached out to them. Podcast. Yeah, they've been on the podcast. And, you know, Tiff texted him late yesterday, and they're a business that's non-essential. They have to close down. And, and Bryce, the owner, he was immediately willing to donate the uh the canopy you know the the awning there for you guys so you don't have to stand out in the rain to yeah, close they have a beautiful thing yeah we're, we're advertising for them out yeah because it's got their name yeah on. he's got good but i don't think they have to close down in iredale right yes they, they were ordered yeah. to close yesterday yeah oh uh, is that right yeah so okay so yeah. non-essential folks i know in mecklenburg yeah well it was all gyms had to close oh, all so gyms. Mm -hmm. okay. gyms were Air one of them salons. and now mecklenburg yeah. just came out with the new stay at home thing are y'all doing like virtual workouts with them or something mm -hmm. yeah that I, um, That's awesome. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, even with the gym not being open, I'm still getting the value of every dollar I pay. I mean, I so think they're doing, doing a good job. you're working job. out with them Yeah, they're virtually. giving us workouts. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm going over and videoing the coaches to teach and go over the workouts and then they're going to send it out to their oh, clients. So we've got a lot of yeah, stuff. People, that, you know, technology is helping a lot yeah. with all this stuff. I've I mean. been saying, you know, some of these things, I'm like, you guys should be doing this. And now it took a, a pandemic for them to say, wow, Ryan, that was a pretty good idea. There you, go. so you, were, you were ready for this before. <laughs> uh, we're going to, we're going to try to keep uh, our clients safe and, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and our staff so that we can continue to serve our clients and get these things closed and, yeah, and there's a lot of um, confusion, too. We're, we're getting, understandably so, a lot of questions from realtors and clients about, okay, will the register of deeds stay open during this time? Yes. Yes, because we can yeah. do electronic recordings in most register of deeds and certainly all the ones around the lake right. that we serve. So mm -hmm. yeah, that right. hasn't been a problem. Right now, register of deeds are open, and until yeah. they close, you guys are able to do closings. Right. You know, right. if register of deeds is open, you're open for, exactly. for the for the most part. I mean, barring some crazy unforeseen circumstance, but like if they're now, open, you can close on houses. Now we do ask that uh, realtors and lenders not attend the closings. Yeah, we uh, want as few people here as possible, and that's <laughs> to keep everybody safe. And, right. and I think their clients understand that. Of course, they can talk to them all, all they want over they the can phone, FaceTime or, them or, as or, the closings or, going on. But um, but. 
uh, we're letting the clients know that the, the it's because of us, not because of them. That right, right. you know they surely yeah, would be there if they could. Exactly, right. and they care about their clients, and they're looking over this stuff, and uh, so the clients know that the realtors and the lenders care about them. It's just that they can't be at the closing rights now. Right. Is there any other stuff you guys want to tell kind of the real estate or yeah. lender folks? Yeah. Yeah. There's one. Um, realtors, your BICs have probably already circulated this to you, but there's a new form. Um, mm-hmm. There's an addendum specific because of COVID-19 that um, we think it, it's admirable that they got this turned around so quickly. Right. And it addresses some, not all, but a good amount of the concerns that people are worried about of what if we're not able to close because financing falls through because someone loses their job. So take a look at that. It's the, the new form number is 790. It's the COVID-19 addendum. Um, it's short, just a page and a half. Um, it, it determines what happens with earnest money. And now, is that diligence. online as well? Yes, and you can. Okay, well, I'll link it. I'll link it to the show notes on this, so you guys can click on it. Well, I think you have to be a realtor to be able to see it. Well, I will link uh, some sort of article about it, so you know what the name of the the form is. We're getting a lot of questions from realtors about it, and um, we both looked at it. We both think it's a good addendum. Mm -hmm. Good. There's one decision that actually has to be made on it, and that's uh, how long something could be extended Mm -hmm. uh, because of this. And um, you know, I've been coming up with 15 days. Because if somebody has to be in isolation for a certain yeah. amount of time, they're going to need at least that much time. So, you know, that seems like a fair number. I'm sure the buyers would want more and sellers would want less, but you know, yeah. that's for the parties to discuss. So there is one decision that has to be made uh, before people sign it. Mm-hmm. And just like any other closing, when there's not a pandemic, if you've got, you know, language that needs to be drafted by an attorney, you can always call us. Uh, that's what we're here for. So don't get yourself into a situation where you're having to play attorney and putting yourself at risk. Um, that's why we're here. So right. you know, use the addendum wisely. If your situation doesn't fit that addendum, make the call. Talk yep. to us. Absolutely. We'll look over your language, check behind you. Yeah. I mean, biggest thing from what I've observed, I mean, I talk to you guys every single day, obviously, but you know, you guys are doing every single I know thing. I see your bill. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing every single thing you can to keep your clients safe, keep your clients taken care of and continue closing houses and making it as stress-free as you can. It's just, there's some things that are going to have to change and, and we've all got to be kind of understanding of that. We've got to all put a smile well, on our we're, face. We're very fortunate because we have a great staff we yeah. Do, yeah. and these guys are pitching in and working and doing what they're uh, supposed to do to keep themselves safe and the office safe. So, And when you ask them questions, they come right to us there. You know, someone asked today, well, what about movers? Are they essential? Well, we went right to the order. Sure enough, they yep. are in Mecklenburg County. So, so. so they're essential. You can your movers will still yep. get you moved. Movers, mm-hmm. plumbers, HVAC, all that uh, inspections, appraisers—they're all considered essential to the real estate market. So oh, you're good. you're good. I was reading yeah. it because now, I now some figured of those folks questions. might ask during this time because it's a little different than normal to be paid up front. So you know. Be aware of that, that, but they'll communicate that with you. It's not going to be yeah. a surprise. Yeah, I would expect people would want to be paid up if they're not sure. Yeah. It's going to close. And- well, guys, I think that's about it. You know, we just wanted to give this quick update as far as what's going on in the, the Lake Norman housing market, how attorneys are still able to close houses. So if uh, if you're working with another closing attorney and they're not able to do it, you guys are doing your best to continue closing houses. They can give you guys a call at the office and uh, you guys are going to do your best to, to try and make sure that the clients are taken care of and they can move into their new houses. Yep. Right. Treat everybody like they are got the COVID and yeah. maybe you won't get it. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, if you got any questions, let us know. Um, share this with other people and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for listening to the Welcome Home Lake Norman podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you give us a review on iTunes. It just helps us be seen by more people. Also, share it with your friends and let everyone know what we're doing over here in the Lake Norman area. We will see you guys on the next episode.